All right, what's going on everyone? Another beautiful day. It's Monday, as you can see. Sunny out. I don't know if you hear that, but a little corn in the background. I got some dinner coming. I'm gonna come to you and show you a full how to grill chicken. We got chicken breast, two of them. I'm gonna be making some grilled chicken parmesan. I'm gonna be using some marinara. We got two chicken breasts. We got lemon pepper. All seasoning purpose, uh, adobo. So this is lemon pep, wait. This is lemon pepper. This is lemon pepper. Let's see which one we like to smell better. Okay. 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 Hmm. This one smells a little bit more lemony, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this one. We're gonna scrap this one, the lemon pepper, put that to the side. We're gonna use this, garlic pepper and lemon pepper. There's a little bit of salt and with a little bit of vegetable oil on top. I don't have olive oil, that would be another good one, but we're gonna use vegetable oil. And then we're gonna use fettuccine noodles. So first thing, you're gonna wanna just drizzle this over the chicken just a little bit, get it nice and moist. Then you're gonna come in with the seasonings. You're gonna kind of pat it in there so it makes sh make sure it's in the, the meat itself, not just over the top. Um, while this is, while I'm doing this, I'm going to be starting the grill so that's getting nice and warm. Then I'm going to start the noodles. We got the meat checker. Make sure it's, make sure it's the right temperature. And, uh, yeah, this is what the chicken looks like before any seasoning. And I will show you soon after I get the seasoning and stuff on it. I'll be taking you guys outside with me and, uh, I'll see you there. So, we're outside now. I got little wigs with me you stay here babies he sees the dog across the street but other than that you know I got two grills we're gonna be using the smaller one today because I'm only grilling two chicken breasts so I got the, the charcoal on there gonna put some lighter fluid on as well lather it on up make sure you get them all yes sir all right now don't play with fire, kids. We're gonna just me personally. I just I just go for it. All right. Probably shouldn't, but it's it, it's never backfired on me. See, it's it's never backfired. We got it going. That's it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna back it up away from this tree a bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Good to go. So now we wait until the coals get a little grayish like i said once they start to get a little ashy then uh we're good to go so got the chicken seasoned and prepped in the refrigerator waiting for the grill to heat up once the grill heats up then we just slap the chicken on there chicken takes or the internal temperature of chicken should be around 165 degrees so we're gonna cook it to about that um I'd say right when it gets about around 100 degrees, 90 degrees, I'm gonna start the noodles. So everything just mashes up perfectly on time. Nothing gets cold or has to wait for the other thing. And yeah, another beautiful day out here in sunny Wisconsin. Got my boy Wigs back there. Beautiful sunny day. I hope everyone's been having a awesome summer. I know I have been especially sharing it with all of you. I appreciate you all. And flame fire is still doing good. Can't wait to see how this turns out. This will be my first time cooking this type of meal. I've cooked and grilled chicken breast before, but I've never added it to a pasta. So we'll see how it goes. I hope it's good. And yeah, I'm just gonna be uh, chilling and vibing out here with my little boy Wigs. I think my wife and Cora might come out here in a second and join me, but for now, we're just gonna kick back, relax, enjoy some sun, and keep grilling. Alrighty, coming back in from outside, we got the pot of water. So we're gonna crank that baby, make sure we get the water nice and hot, noodles boiling. I like to throw a little bit of salt in there right off the bat, you know, doesn't hurt. 
Salt is so the noodles don't stick together, by the way, if anyone didn't know that. Otherwise, your noodles will kind of get stuck together. So right now, I got the water started for the noodles. Um, I got the chicken outside, so once I go back outside, I'm going to show you guys me throwing the chicken on the grill. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated from that. My wife is actually out on the second porch now. Cora's, I think tummy's upset a little bit, so we're just trying to keep her happy and comfortable and she loves it outside, so. Other than that, I got the water started now, so back outside I go to tend the chicken. All right, so we're back outside. I don't know if you can see. Hey, there she is right up there. That's my wife and Cora relaxing. So we got the fire still going. They might not all be gray, but if you see close, there's a good, good warm fire in there. So I have the water started upstairs for the noodles. So now we got the chicken out here. We're going to see if we can maybe break apart, which we can't, so that's all right. What we're gonna do is just take the whole thing, bring it on over. and slap it on. All right, so now that we got the chicken on, maybe, actually, let's move it, because that's a really, really warm spot in the center. We're gonna move it off to the side a little bit. I'll keep it right there, that seems like the best spot for now. And then, you wanna have, like I said, all air vents open. So we got, on this one, the top one's open. If I didn't mention, I'm using this grill because it is a little smaller than that grill, so no need to go all out. So we got the chicken on now. Like I said, the inside should be around 165 degrees. No less, if anything more. And we got the water boiling for the noodles upstairs. So I will uh, keep you guys updated. And that's a pretty cool looking van over there. That's what I keep looking at. But I'll keep you guys updated. Coming back in from outside, we got the pot of water. So we're gonna crank that baby. Make sure we get the water nice and hot, noodles boiling. I like to throw a little bit of salt in there right off the bat, you know, doesn't hurt. Salt is so the noodles don't stick together, by the way, if anyone didn't know that. Well, as your noodles will kind of get stuck together. So right now, I got the water started for the noodles. Um, I got the chicken outside, so once I go back outside, I'm going to show you guys me throwing the chicken on the grill. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated from that. My wife is actually out on the second porch now. Cora's, I think, tummy's upset a little bit, so we're just trying to keep her happy and comfortable, and she loves it outside, so. Other than that, I got the water started now, so back outside I go to tend the chicken. Alrighty, so we're back outside checking on the chicken and it's looking great. I love cooking chicken, but like I said, I don't know what I said actually, like what I said. Pfft. What did Davey say? I don't know. Either way, we got the temperature gauge out here now. We got it on and ready. I set it to 167 just to be on the safe side. I like you know rather be safe than sorry so what you do with this personally this one you could just set in here close it and leave it so you could just set it in there like so and then if we go down here and look at that should be going up and once it hits 167 so what I have it set at it will beep and we know the chicken is cooked Right now it's sitting at around 133, 134. So we got a little bit more time to go. Like I said, I have it on, this is like I said, I have it on off the, the main flame. I am personally enjoy the outside, love grilling. So I'll take my time with it, nice and easy. Got the noodles in and uh, got a fresh piece of tin foil out here. The wife did go inside, but that's all right. We're chilling. We're vibing. We're vibing. Pool got filled up, so maybe uh, see a couple dives in there tomorrow or so. And yeah, tomorrow morning I actually do have, tomorrow morning is in Tuesday, I do have to take my car in. It's been acting up lately. 
And I also got something in the mail saying, if this happens, call us and as lawyers. I was like, well, this sounds serious. Let me just call my dealership, called them up. Last week, they told me I could bring it in tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. So I'll be up around 6, leaving the house around 7, dropping my car off. Not sure how much they're going to charge me or what's even wrong with it, but there's a couple things that I need them to look at. Um, I'll keep you guys updated with that. And, uh, yeah, we're just chilling, chilling on a beautiful, beautiful Monday. What a day. What a day. All right, so we're here again. We're still outside. I'm sure the water's boiling, so we're going to go check on that in a second. But I just wanted to show you, I did flip the chicken one time. I got them apart now. They're actually looking like they could use another flip. So we're going to go over here, grab these bad boys, gently pick. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. It's looking good. We'll just keep it down for a little bit longer. This guy's looking pretty nice. This one could maybe use a flip. Alright, and yeah, so we'll let those cook a little bit longer, but funny thing is, okay, I guess maybe not funny, but cool thing, my wife's dad was here the other day, kind of doing some yard work, uh, cleaning up like excess bushes and whatnot, so I could show you a little bit, it's a little rough right now, but let me tell you, when we get it complete, whew, so, right here, this is full of bushes. That's the neighbor's garage. I'm not sure if that wall's theirs or not, but either way, we're gonna clean all this up, get it nice and pretty. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet with it, but let me tell you, it's not gonna stay like that. It used to look like that, but so just straight bushes. So we clean that up, it really gives us more room in the yard. 360 all right so but I took you over here because I wanted to show you this so over here like I said from that all these bushes I never knew about it and I've been here for almost I don't know two three years now two years look at all of these raspberries we have growing in the yard like they are everywhere and we never knew about it they're even on this one like right here, all over it. And uh, yes, I've tried them. They are safe, healthy. I've ate some a couple days ago, but it is crazy the amount of raspberries that are in the yard. <laughs> Anybody want some raspberries? Let your boy know and I got you. They're everywhere back here. I think that's pretty awesome because my wife's favorite uh, fruit is a raspberry. So, I mean, with her favorite fruit being a raspberry, that's perfect. So, I'm only, I, you guys know I like to grill, kind of like to bake. So, I think it might be interesting to try to make some raspberry jelly or something. I don't know. I think that might be interesting. So, we might try that out soon. Stay tuned for that. Back to the chicken over here. Still looking good. Like I said, chicken has to be around 165 degrees internal temperature outside could be however you like it like i said so it's not on direct heat right now so it's not just burnt on the outside and uh yeah now we're gonna go inside and put the noodles in the water all righty now <laughs> we're inside we got the noodles water is just about to be boiling so i think it's safe to say we can throw them in i don't know how many to make maybe i should make this whole thing it's a lot of noodles I don't know. Let's uh, let's see what we're working with here. Yeah, that's way too many here. Let's go with uh. No, I think we're safe. All right, we're dropping some, but that's all right. Got most of the noodles here. Let's take them and got most of the noodles here. So what we're just gonna do is uh, put them in there. Soon they'll get nice and soggy down there and we'll be able to just kind of tuck them all in there. But let's see how many's left in the box. I mean, this looks like enough for me and my wife. 
100%. Look at them all. Right? That's a chunk. I mean, how much is left? I don't know. You know what? Go big or go home, right? Go, go, go big or go home. Just get, just get in there. There you go. There you go, guys. Let's pick up the ones we dropped here and here. All right. Well, noodles are in. Kind of just get them bent down in there a little bit. So we can go back out by the chicken. Sorry, a little baby core in the background. So, like I said, now that the noodles are in, definitely gonna add some more salt in there. It looks like a lot more than it is in person. The camera really picked that up, but. All right, so most of these noodles are just gonna just slowly make their way inside. Ooh, I touched the water. <laughs> it was pretty hot. All right, got the noodles in. This stuff usually doesn't take too long. I don't know, it takes a couple minutes just to get warmed up. We're gonna check, we're gonna turn it down just a little bit, because we don't want it to cook too fast. So we got about halfway, keeping the noodles in there. Alrighty, so we're inside now. Chicken is pretty much done. I went outside, I checked it. Temperature is hitting 167, just like that. No problem. So we're inside, got the sauce. Supposed to use like a saucepan, but uh, this is saucepan enough, hey. I don't know, we're just gonna wing it with all the uh, amounts of stuff. So, what I'm gonna do is turn this on, which go to the back one, it's gonna go to where it's high on that side. So, we're gonna go right down the middle again. I'm gonna put a lid on, actually, gonna get a little salt little pepper in there and close it up noodles are done got them just chilling right now um, gonna go outside I'll show you guys how the chicken looks right now I'm just like I said it's done I'm just getting the outsides a little bit more crisp and like I said I'll show you guys how it looks before I take it off and when I get it up here Going downstairs, going downstairs, going down, 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 stairs. Yeah. All right. Downstairs, outside, going down the porch. Boop, 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 boop. All righty. Outside. Beautiful, as always. Okay, not as always. Um, I'll show you how it looks. That's how we're looking. Not too shabby, hey? Looks pretty good to me. We're gonna see how the other side looks right now. Oh, perfect. That's how I like it right there. This side looks good as well. Let me see how this one looks. Oh yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Would you eat this piece of chicken? If so, are you using sauce or what? You seen what seasonings I put on? I'm gonna take I'm going to leave them actually both on for a little bit longer. Just a, just a couple minutes, not even. Maybe like a minute or two. I don't know if you guys can see me. My phone battery just died. Or not died, but it said 10%. So what I did is just flipped them both over. Checked them both. Uh, like I said, they're both hitting 167%. Or 167%. 167 degrees Fahrenheit temperature-wise. So just getting outside is a little bit more done than while the, actually while the uh, pasta sauces or marinara sauce is cooking upstairs. So then what I'm gonna do is go upstairs. I don't know if I'm gonna put it all in a pan and then just cook it for a smidge longer with sauce in there or if I should just plate right away. No, I need to cook it a little bit longer because I got to put cheese on it all. So the cheeses we got are mozzarella and marinara. See how it goes. It's been a little bit. It's been a minute or two. So how's it looking? How's this one? Looking good. 
I think it's looking pretty good. I think we're about ready to uh, take it off. Get it on the tray. How am I gonna do this one-handed? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed. I gotta put tin foil on this bad boy. So I'm gonna get that done. We're gonna get the chicken off of the grill now. As you can see, it is nice and charcoaly and uh, charcoaly. It's all charcoal, but it's all it's getting ashy now, which is good. Pretty much whatever I slap on there will cook very very quickly now. But the chicken is done. Noodles are done. Waiting on the sauce, and then we're gonna go upstairs and just melt the cheese onto the chicken. Okay, doke. So we got the noodles drained. Let them just kind of dry out a little bit more. We got the mozzarella cheese, the parmesan cheese. So what you're supposed to do is kind of get like a bigger pan, put some sauce, the chicken and cheese on top and melt it. What I did is just stuck both pieces of chicken in the sauce pot. And we're just gonna go ahead, grab the cheese. So we got the cheese, we're gonna grab it and sprinkle it on. So we're just gonna kind of cover that layer. One of, with one of each, because like I said, I have mozzarella and parmesan. So we're just gonna kind of cover that one up as well. Okie dokie. I'm gonna come over here and get the parmesan. Do the same exact thing. This is a big handful, so I might be able to cover both. All right, I think that looks good. It's really covered, but Throw the excess, we don't need that, we don't need that. Move these out of the way. So now what we're gonna do with this, is stick the cover back on, bring this guy back over there, turn it back on to medium temperature. Actually, we're gonna go a little less than medium, so we're gonna go right about there, just to melt the cheese. Then, we're gonna take it out and plate it. Just turned the sauce off. Um, so now, so pretty much the noodles are, yeah, I need to get a lid for that light. Just two light bulbs, down with the best. But, it's done. So, this is what it's gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. So it is done. I got the sauce off with the melted cheese and chicken. Um, we're gonna plate it right now. So we got the noodles. Noodles. Put it on a plate. I'll show you guys once I get it on this plate. It's a little hard to do with one hand, so we'll plate my wife first. We'll get her a nice plate. I'm sure she's hungry. If these noodles will just, uh, as you can see, they're just not stopping. Let's keep. All right, there we go, boys. We got it. All right, so. We got the noodles on the plate. Now we got the chicken with melted cheese. Ooh, that looks tasty. Let's see if we can, uh, see if we can get one on out of here. All right, so let's scoop it up. Oof, that's a little tough. All right, let's poke it. There we go. What's in the way? Get out of the way. There we go. Look at me. There we are. Here we go, boys. Oh, look at that. Okay. So actually, what? Actually, we can pour some on right now. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So at the moment, we got the noodles, chicken, with one piece of chicken in here, but I think we're able to pour some sauce without getting this piece of chicken out. So we're gonna try to pour some sauce all over this bad boy. My wife is a big fan of sauce, so we'll, we'll make sure she gets a healthy portion of that. And then what we're gonna do is go, let me feel the last drip, and go right back over here. It's all right if it gets all over this, I'm gonna clean that up later, but I think to top it off, what we're gonna do is get a little bit more mozzarella. Sprinkle some of this on there. 
All right, so you got the mozzarella. You just sprinkle that over the top. And then just finish it off with a little salt. Boom. And I'd say that's pretty complete. Yeah, I'm using paper plate on top of this so we don't have to wash this. But I'd say that's pretty complete. That's my first time making, I guess, mozzarella parmesan chicken on the grill and inside on the stove. 7.13 p.m. Yeah, hopefully it turns out well. We'll see how she likes it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, boys and ladies, if there's any ladies here, I just cut up. She wanted it, her chicken cut up, so we just cut it up for her, and she's gonna try it out. Now go for it. <laughs> Be honest. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it looks like she likes it, so now I'm gonna go try it myself. <laughs> she's got a smile on her face. That's always a good sign. I got a little hair dangling here. So that's always good, so I hope you all enjoyed this, uh, I guess, grilled chicken, mozzarella, pot, whatever you want to call it. I hope you enjoyed this meal. Um, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. We stream uh, daily, starting to upload and do vlogs more often, but I hope you enjoyed. I'll let you know, like I said, how the meal turned out. Leave the comments down below what you thought. If you thought I did a good job or if you would eat this or anything like that, let me know. I hope you all enjoyed. I love you all. Stay safe. Stay happy. And I'll see you later, Davey Navy. Peace.